once in a couple of weeks before the Badgers beat Ohio State, uh, Cal, and I wasn't really impressed too much with Miami. Uh, Florida A&M, hello? Overall, Miami has accomplished the most. That doesn't mean Miami's the best team in the country. No, I think they are, but Washington has just as much right to be number one as Miami. All along, even when I was voting for Miami the first two weeks, something in the back of my mind kept saying, you know, Washington really appears to be the more complete team. And the third week, I went with Washington and haven't thought a second thought about it since then. If they penalize Miami for its win over Arizona, they should, they should also reward them for their wins over Florida State and Penn State. I must say that uh, several calls from fans that I've gotten from uh, Florida and a couple from Washington were uh, less than enthusiastic about my choice. Uh, one fellow threatened to cuss me out on a fax machine. I'm waiting for that. I think that person probably has relatives in Tuscaloosa. Uh, I, Alabama's a good team, but I don't think they're number one yet. I think he's become something of a little hero in the state of Alabama. Um, but I'm glad he's out of the closet now, uh, so people will stop calling me thinking that I'm the guy who voted Alabama number one. First of all, I don't believe that a team which is ranked number one, like Washington was last week, should lose that ranking in the polls. But I was uh, impressed enough with Miami to feel like they should gain points. But I'm, I'm not certain that uh, either is that much better than the other, so it seemed logical to say, okay, you're both number one. I'm glad he's not a pilot. I'm glad he's not a heart surgeon. I don't know the guy who split his vote, but make up your mind. You know, to, you know don't be a weenie. Make up your mind. <laughs> You know, Ivan's calling Craig James a weenie because he said he would split his vote if he had one. You know, those guys are like some other debaters we've seen lately. They refuse to avoid personal attacks and just stick to the issues. Let's look at the facts that shape these decisions. You can decide. The margin of victory is a criteria for some voters, and Bama really has the clear edge here. But the big edge is thanks to a couple of recent blowouts, and here's why that seems to be irrelevant. The Tide's opponents are just 13 and 22. Only Southern Miss has a winning record. It's very close between Miami and Washington opponents record. The Canes and Huskies have each faced three ranked teams, but two in the top seven for Miami. Hard to understand how some voters would criticize their schedule. Bama, their first ranked opponent is today against Tennessee, Lee. Yeah, Chris, I like that last panel. That was terrific. Miami beat a number three ranked Florida State. On the road, they beat Iowa and number seventh ranked Penn State. Washington stays up in Seattle, eats salmon all the time, brings the guys <laughs> up and beats them. They've been, only been on the road once, and they beat an average to below average Arizona State team. All right, Ivan Mazel, I'm coming after you now. <laughs> I think Miami's the best team in the country, but because of this ridiculous voting system, Washington has done nothing to deserve to be pushed down to number two. Some voters have brain lock. They need to wake up and vote for who the best team is in the country today, not what happened in week two or three. Hey, it's today that you vote for the best team in the country. Washington and may have done nothing to be demoted, but they did nothing to get number one when they Genius got Geniuses figured it must have been the coach's fault. They called for Phil Fulmer's return and for Johnny Major's ouster. And if they really believe that, they've been sipping on uh, some of that uh, sour mash from Lynchburg. Majors isn't worried about graffiti today. Alabama's in town to renew an October ritual as regular as the leaves turning.